All right, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Alex. Uh, my YouTube channel. This is going to be a new video on YouTube and my new channel called Alex Unpacks. Uh, today we're going to be open up uh, a bunch of Magic: The Gathering cards. Uh, so I have Ravnica Allegiance right here. Three of those. I have three Spark of War. I have the 2020 core set, three of those as well. Actually, I'm going to set these off in piles. All right, and then I have three guilds of Ravnica. I have three of the 2019 core set right there. Yeah. And then on top of that, I have two Masters 25 sets. All right, so we're gonna start with the Spark of War. Just a fun one, one of my personal favorites. Um, I just like the design on the packs. I'm relatively, um, well, I'm not new to Magic. I'm coming back to Magic as it stands right now. I used to play a lot with my girlfriend and uh, just kind of fell off of it. So first we got an invading manticore. All right. Gideon sacrifice. Then we got Naga eternal. Got raging crunch. Okay. Then we got crunch wrangler. Nice. That's a green. Let's set it off in its own pile. We got Tithabearer giant. Okay. Thundering Saratok. It's a rhino. Interesting. We got Spellgore Weird. Alright, that's a red card. Topple the Statue. That's another white for Gideon Sacrifice to match with. Nice. Evolution Sage. So we're getting into the silver cards now. Evolution Sage. Ooh, what's that? Merfolk Skydiver. Interesting. It's a flying merfolk. Interesting. Alright, that's a mixed card. Emergency zone. A colorless land. Alright. Oh! Holy shit! Jamari Anarch of Bolas. Er, yeah, Anarch. Creatures you control get plus one. Ooh, nice. Oh my god, I got two of them? Whoa. Damn, I just built my girl a green-red deck. And, wow, that's kind of cool. Add green or red creatures, or creature spells you cast this turn can't be countered. And target creature can't, or creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Wow. And then land and a token, a citizen token. All right. So next we're going to open up the Ravnica Allegiance and see how this goes. I can't believe I got two Planeswalkers, two gold Planeswalkers. They're not, well, he's the, the weird plane, <clears throat> Planeswalker, but still, that's cool. All right, so we got Prowling Caracol, okay. Shimmering Possibility, all right. Stormstrike, ooh, that could go good in my niv deck. deck. Uh, Axebane Beast, all right. Rakados Trumpeter. Alrighty. So we have two of each card except for land and token now. Including Planeswalker. Oh, not for colorless land or mixed. Artifact. Ooh. Uh, add a green or red. Gruel Locket. Okay. It's uh, off in its own pot. Ooh, Frenzied. I have no clue how to say that. Aranex, I think. Uh, Riot. What's Riot? This creature enters the battlefield with... Er, with your choice of plus one, plus one counter, or haste. Huh, interesting. It goes over to the mixed. We have the Orzhov Locket, I think that's how you pronounce it. So that's another artifact. Defiance, choose one. Destroy target artifact or destroy target creature with defender. Wow. All right, red pile. Skitter eel, all right. Ooh, we're getting into the silvers. Rakados fire wielder. When this enters the battlefield, deals two damage to target opponent. Damn. 
Hmm, okay. Sorry, I was reading that again. Eyes everywhere. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Hmm. And then we have Forbidden Spirit, or Forbidding Spirit. Our gold card for this pack would be Amplifier. It's a creature, it's a 1-1. One, one. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Until the next turn, Amplifier's base power becomes twice that card's power. And its base toughness becomes twice that card's toughness. Put the revealed cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. Huh. And then we got our, ooh, a mixed land. That's Adventures of the Battlefield Tap, so it's alright. And then we have a Centaur token. Okay. So, um, next let's open a Core 2020. Sounds fitting. So, I'm very new to this. Um, I'm open to suggestions, what packs you want me to open. Um, I was looking to do Ultimate Masters, but unfortunately the store I go to didn't have them. Why did the sun have to go away? It was perfect lighting. Uh, one second, my phone's ringing. Alright, so we got Fortress Crab. Huh. Interesting. Weird blue card, but anyway. Goblin <laughs> Goblin Bird Grabber. Okay. Fly or gains flying if I use a red mana. Okay. Aerial Assault. Hmm. Okay. Bone Splinters. Alrighty. Plummet. Ooh, that's a nice design for Plummet. I have a couple old ones in my collection, but I've never seen one like that. Interesting. Soulmender. Tap and you gain a life. That's not bad. Ooh, I have the old version of Viola Dragonfire. Interesting. Alright. This is an artifact. Agonizing Siphon. Agonizing Siphon deals 3 damage and you gain 3 life. Nice. Healer of the Glade. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's my green. Cloudkin Seer. Flying and enters the battlefield. Draw a card. It's not bad. Air Elemental. Oh, we're in the silvers now. Ah, uh, it's just a flying 4-4. Four, four. Wow. Flying 4-4. Four, four. Scuttlemutt. Artifact creature scarecrow. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen a scarecrow. Alright. Next is a uh, bloodthirsty aerialist. It's a vampire. Hmm. Fun. Ooh, embodiment of agonies. Black is over here. Pretty sure this card's worth about two bucks right now. I'm not sure. Um, I'll look into it later though. So, embodiment of agonies. Nice. And we got our land, and we got a soldier token. Alright, so next let's do a Guilds of Ravnica, I guess. Ooh, this one's partially open already. Interesting. So, let's open up, see what we got on the front. Sure Strike. Alright, alright. Set that over there. Alright, Sure Strike. So it's an instant that gives a creature plus three plus zero. Nice. Righteous blow, deal two damage. Another, oh, this is a, a mesmerist. We're gonna just go with that because I can't say that other word. Uh, ordinary goblin. Vile shade, all right. Krog foragers, nice. Muse dragon, flying when the, uh, when Muse Dragon enters the battlefield, draw a card. Four. Ugh. Gateway Plaza. Hey, I have a couple of these. Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield tapped. Okay. Let's put that with the mixed cards. Uh, dead Weight. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets minus two, minus two. Wow. All right. Undercity Uprising. Creatures you control gain death touch until end of turn. Target creature you control fights. Target creature you don't control. I've gotten a lot of those cards recently. Ooh. Elf Knight. Whenever this card enter or attacks, you may tap another creature. Or a number of untapped creatures you control. This card gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Ledev Champion. Interesting. Creeping Chill. Deals 3 damage, you gain 3 life. And then there's another effect, but... Ooh, Hellkite Whelpling. 
or whelp. Deals damage. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Omni Spell Adept. That's my gold card, and then I got a green white multi land. And then we got another soldier. Nice. Alright, so uh, I guess to match the rest of having two, including my Masters 25, we're going to open a Corset 2019 right here. Alright, so let's open it up and see what we got. So, yeah, I've decided I want to start this YouTube channel, see where it goes, you know. I just suddenly was like buying magic cards and I was like, yeah, no, I'm doing this today. So we got Daybreak Chaplain, Scholar of the Stars, Tormenting Voice, Reiko Swift Claw. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of these guys and maybe older art. I'm not sure yet, but Oaken Form. Ooh. Enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three, and it's a green card. Nice. Epicure of Blood. Hmm. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses life. That's not bad. Especially for, oh, for five, maybe. Essence Scatter. Counter target spell. That for two, that ain't bad. That's might go in my Niv deck. Anyway. Naturalize. Destroy. I have a couple old ones of these. We got Strangling Spores, minus three, minus three till end of turn, nice. We got Loyalty Lost, put target non-land permanent on top of its owner's library, wow. Alright, we're in the silvers, here we go, double cast, so whatever, or when you cast your next instant spell, or sorcery spell, this turn, copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy, nice. Alright. Fountain of Renewal. At the beginning of your upkeep, you gain one life. Sacrifice this to draw a card. Interesting. Alright. Uh, multi... No, Artifact. Psychonic Symbiont. Alright. Flying. 3-3. Three, three. Interesting. Sorry, I, I'm new to this, so I'm not holding the cards up all the way. Sorry about that. Uh, when this enters the battlefield, a target opponent discards a card. You draw a card. Nice. Ooh, Lena Light, Selfless Champion. Legendary creature, Human Knight. When this creature enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 soldier token for each non token creature you control. Sacrifice this, er, Lena. Creatures you control with the power less than Lena's gain indestructible until end of turn. Wow. That's insane. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Alright, so we got a land and a goblin token. Alrighty. Um, I don't know what I should open. And you know what? We've done one, two, three, four, five. Let's open a Masters 25. See what we got here. So I paid about 10 bucks for this pack. I don't know if that's too much for you guys or what, but that's what I paid for it. So, here we go. Here we go. Horror of the Broken Lands. Okay. Whoa, Trumpet Blast's a card from the past, dude. I have like six of these sitting in my red pile. Wow. All right, White Mane Lion. Okay. On Earth, return target creature from the, or with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Wow, for one, damn. Phantasmal Bear, it's an illusion. Interesting. Hey, this is the old plummet that I have. Okay, so that's nice. Pillage. Destroyed target artifact or land. It cannot be regenerated. Okay. Court Hussar, I think is how you pronounce it. Vigilance. It's a blue card with vigilance. I've never seen one of those. Noble Templar. Vigilance and plane cycling. Death Head Buzzard. Flying. And it's a bird. Nice. Coseran Tusker. Or Corsin Tusker. Sorry. So I believe this is a silver. Yeah. Cycling. Okay. In the green pile. Enthralled. Or Enthralling Victor. 
When enthralling Victor enters the battlefield, gain control of the target creature and opponent controls with two power or less until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste till end of turn. Okay. Willbender. It's a wizard. Morph. Does it have a... No. I don't know what morph is off the top of my head then. Ooh. Hell's Caretaker. Sacrifice a creature, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this ability only during your upkeep. Okay. Ooh, we got a hollow. Knight of the Skyward, or Skyward Eye. It's a human knight. Uh, unfortunately, it's not anything but a common. Then we got a legendary token creature. Stang Twig. Or Twin. Interesting. Okay, well, set these in the piles. Oh, my arms hurt. I've been working all day. Alright, let's start with a Core 19, or 2019. Here we go. So, just so you see, Core 2019. Come on, open up. Show me your secrets. I found that, and this is kind of superstitious, the cards that are especially hard to open typically have some of the better cards, in my opinion, anyway. So, revitalize, gain three health, draw a card. That's not bad for two. Uncomfortable chill. Target creature, or creatures your opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero till end of turn. Nice. Catalyst Elemental, sacrifice this, add two mana. That's nice for three, and it's a two two. Hell yeah. Rustwing Falcon, one flying. Wow, that's good for a bird deck, I guess. Child of the Night. Hmm, okay. Ooh, Titanic Growth. It's never a bad card to have. I mean, especially for two, get plus four, plus four till end of turn. Hell yeah. Colossal Dreadmaw Trample, and it's a dinosaur with 6-6 six, six for 6. Wow. Essence Scatter, we already saw one of these. Again, pretty good card for 2. Counter Target Spell, hell yeah. Naturalize again. Alright. Strangling Spores, we've already seen. Shield Mare. Shield Mare cannot be blocked by red creatures. When this enters the battlefield or becomes a target of a spell or ability, you gain 3 life. Ravenous Harpy, flying, one, two, okay. A Johnny's Pride Mate, Cat Soldier, whenever you gain life, put up one, one counter on this guy. Supreme Phantom, flying, other speech, er, bleh, other spirits you control get plus one, plus one. We got a land and a Thopter, thop, 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 thop. Sorry, that's a joke between my girlfriend and I. We sit there, we just go back and forth, top, 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 top. It's just funny. Alrighty, so next we are opening up a Core 2020 with a Johnny on the front. Sorry, I've already opened it, but a Johnny right on the front. Let's get this open. Alright, here we go. Fortress Crab, we've already seen one of those. Scorch Spitter. Whenever Scorch Spitter attacks, deal one damage to target or to the player or planeswalker, it's attacking. Nice. Inspired charge. Alright. Mammoth Spider. That's just a something I don't want to encounter, you know? Soul Savage. Or Salvage, sorry. Return two cards from your grave or creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. For three? Not bad. Healer of the Glade. When Healer of the Glade enters the battlefield, you gain three life for one. That's not bad. Cloudkin Seer, we've seen. Destructive Digger, it's a goblin. Sacrifice a, a, an artifact or land and draw a card. Griffin Protector, okay. Damn, that first pack where we got this guy twice and I got a hollow of him. That's insane. I wonder how much he's worth. I'll try to post the, the card values, some of the, the rare cards in the uh, comment or in the description down below. Stone Golem. Okay. Alright, we're in the silvers. Here we go. Wolf Rider or yeah, Wolf Rider Saddle. 
When Wolf Rider Saddle enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 Wolf token, attach it to the saddle. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and can't be blocked by more than one creature. Wow. So if this, if I get a card that says target creature has trample, that's not bad. Unchain Berserker, protection from white, okay, and gets plus two, plus zero, as long as it's attacking. Ah, season of growth. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. Whenever you cast a spell, that target creature, or that targets a creature, draw a card. Okay, and then, ooh, Leyland of Anticipation. If this is in your open hand, or opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. You may cast spells as though they had flash. Wow. I'm setting that off to the side as well. And then we got a zombie token with along with a white land. All right. Let's open a Guilds of Ravnica with an angel right on the front. I'm not sure if that's a specific angel or whatnot, but it's an angel nonetheless, you know? Oh, man. So, please let me know if uh, I'm a little loud, if I'm a little quiet, if uh, I'm breathing too much or breathing too little, you know? <laughs> Just, sorry, trying to be funny and nervous. Again, let me know with suggestions. Alright, we got Fearless Halberdier. It's a warrior. Righteous Blow again. Alright. Leapfrog. Hey, this guy's fun. Three cost. Leapfrog has flying as long as you've cast a spell or instant. Or a sorcery or instant. And he's a 3-1. Not bad. And then we have a spider that could kill him easily with reach. Funny. Love how magic cards tend to do that. Drowser or Dowser of Light. It's a horror. Wow. Shield me. That's a multi. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Hypno Thistle. Or Sizzle. Draw two cards. Then you may discard a non land card. When you do, this deals four. Wow. Deals four damage to target creature. That ain't bad. Another multi, though. Prey upon. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Alright. Hammer dropper. It's a giant. Nice. Dimir Locket. Another mana locket. Ooh, I need this. Kestemir's Insight. I'm going to set this off to the side. Let's draw two cards and then jump start. So, uh, League Guild Mage. It's a blue red wizard for two. Two cost. Pay three blue and then a blue. Tap and draw a card. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. Wow. Wow. That's cool. Disinformation campaign. When this enters the battlefield, you draw a card and each opponent discards a card. When, Whenever you surveil, return this card to its owner's hand. Huh. We have deafening clarion. Or, yeah, clarion. Choose one or both, defending creature, er, defeating the deafening clarion deals three damage to target, or er, to each creature. Creatures you control gain life link until end of turn. Wow. And then we got another multi land that comes out tapped, and we got another soldier. Pretty sure we've seen this guy too. My arms are sticking to the table. Nice. Alright, let's go with the Spark of War. Again, one of my favorites. I like the design. I like that they're greenish. Green is one of my favorite colors, along with black and purple. Alright, so we got Turret Ogre. Nice. Pouncing Lynx. Stealth Mission. Steady Aim. Fall, or Aid the Fallen. Thunder Drake. Charmed Stray. Vraska's Finisher. Uh, over there. Hearthfire, nice. Pollen Bright Druid, okay. Mayhem Devil, ooh. We're in the silvers, I guess. All right, whenever you cast a Planeswalker, you gain one life. Okay, that ain't bad, that ain't bad. 
Ooh, hello. You come out with some Durham. All right, let's set that there. And then Kaya, Bane of the Dead. Your opponents and or your opponents and permanents, your opponents control with hexproof can be targeted as spells and abilities you control as though they didn't have hexproof. Wow. Whoa, Niv Mizet Reborn. Whoa, whoa. All right, let's get a sleeve because this is a mythic. Holy shit. Where's my sleeves? Where's my sleeves? Right here. Let's get the black sleeve. The last black sleeve that I have in here. Right there. Boom. All right. Niv Mizet Reborn. Cre or legendary creature, Dragon Avatar. Flying. When Niv Mizet Reborn enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 cards of your library. For each color pair, choose a card. Um, or a card that's exactly those colors from among them. Put the color or the chosen cards into your hand and the rest of them under the bottom of your library in a random order. He is all colors? What the fuck? I didn't mean to swear, but damn. That is, that is a badass card. Alright. So. Wow. That's a really cool card. All right, so next, let's open up the next Ravnica Allegiance. I think we're going to end with the Last Masters 25 after I open the rest of them, you know? All right, so again, oh, Ravnica Allegiance right there, boom. Here we go. I'm going to try to pick up a little bit of speed on these. All right, so we got Cordian Pegasus, Quench, Rubble Slinger, Oh, why did I put a multi in the reds? Sorry. Arrester's Zeal. Cosign to the Pit. Terror, er, territorial Boar. Catacomb Crocodile. Imperious Oligarch. Act of Treason. Good card, good card. Get to the Point. Senate Guild Mage. Orzov Enforcer, Incubation and in, in Incongruity, maybe? I don't know. But it's a blue-green. Interesting. Then we have Pestilent Spirit. Okay. We're going to set him up here. I like gold cards, so we'll take a look. And then we got another zombie token. Alrighty. So, you know what? Spark of War has been doing it for me. Got three planeswalkers, got a Niv Mazette reborn out of it. Like, come on, I can't, I can't top Spark of War, dude. I told you they're my favorite. All right, so the last one's got this guy on it. I don't know if he's a specific dude or whatnot, but there he is. All right, so we got Sky Threader Strix. Sorry, was reading a little bit. Goblin Assailant, Makeshift Battalion. Forced Landing. It's like a plummet, I think. Soren's Thirst. That's a vampire. Vraska's Finisher. I set down two cards, it sounded like. Nope, okay. Sahili's Silverwind. Sliverwing, sorry. We got Blooming Hulk, or Bloom Hulk. Charmed Stray. Avon Eternal. Storm the Citadel. That's the start of the Silvers, I think. Interplanar Beacon. Ooh, another Planeswalker. Draval the Rogue Shadow Mage. And then we got a Land Blast, or Blast Zone. Blast Zone enters a battlefield with charge counters on it. Or with a charge counter. Tap, add that. XX, tap. Put X counters. Three, tap. Destroy target land on land permanent ma or with the converted mana cost equal to the number of charges. Damn. We got a base swamp. Our basic land swamp and a zombie army. Nice. Meant to set that there. Set this here. Set that there. And bam. All right. So that was the last spark of war. Here we go. We got uh, the next 2020 core set. Soren's on all of these, I think. No, Johnny was on the other one. Never mind. Here we go. So, 
First we got Inspiring Captain, Anticipate, Infuriate, alright, those typically go together, Moreland Inquisitor, Blade Brand, Natural End, that's, ooh, I remember that card, Unsummon, hell yeah, Prismite, Nell, Netcaster Spider, Blood for Bones, Ogre Siege Breaker, Mold, Molder Vine Reclamation, Masterful Replication, Ooh, and we got a Gold Hollow, Graph Digger, Graph Digger's Cage, and we got our Swamp and another Soldier. Alrighty. So next, let's do Core 2019. I always seem to, or I always do them back to back. So we got this guy on the front, and here we go. Please educate me as to who these people are, because uh, it just seems like fun knowing, you know? Alright, so we got Uncomfortable Chill again. We got Goblin Motivator. We got Daggerback Basilisk, Duress, okay, Angel of the Dawn, Viashino Pyromancer, Salvager of Secrets, Root Snare, Abnormal Endurance, Bogart Brute, Reliquary Tower, alright, that's the start of the uh, Silvers, and we got Enigma Drake. Ooh, flying Enigma Drake's power is equal to the number of instants and sorceries in your grave. Wow, that's a good Niv Nizet card. Dryad Greenseeker. Then we got a Johnny's Last Stand. When a target creature or planeswalker you control dies, you may sacrifice a Johnny's Last Stand. If you do, create a 4 4 white avatar creature token with flying. Okay, we got a mixed land right there, nice. Submerged Boneyard, and then we got a Bat Token Creature. Alright, so next up, Ravnica Allegiance. I'm not feeling the guilds yet. The guilds has one of my Planeswalkers on it, and I want to save him for second to last. Because you know Masters 25 with Jace right on the front has to be last. Alright, Arrestors Admonition. Salvage or Savage Smash, Twilight Panther, Persistent Petitioners. Sorry, words confuse me when I'm this tired. Territorial Boar again, Plague White, Law Mage Binding or Law Law Mage's Binding, Rakados Locket, Burning Tree Vandal, Trollbreed Guardian. Basilica Bell Haunt. All right. Oh, that started the silvers. Sorry about. Oh no, Trollbred Guardian started the silvers. Anyway, combined Guild Mage. Okay. Ooh, what are you? This is a legendary creature, Wizard Merfolk. Okay. Zagana Utopian Speaker. Ooh, Growth Chamber Guardian. Okay, and then we got a Rakados Guild Gate and a Spirit Token. All right, I don't remember his name. I have him in my deck uh, that I keep in my leather bound box, but he is pretty good red blue planeswalker. All right, maximum altitude is the first card. All right, this could be the height of it all, you know, with a name like or maximum altitude. I think this is a sign, here we go. Maximum Altitude, Bargaining Sergeant, Tenneth District Guard, or District Guard, Portcullis Vine, never happened, I guess, I don't know what just happened, it suddenly dead weights right in front of me, Undercity Uprising, District, or Direct Current, Gateway Plaza again, Electrostatic field. It's a wall. Okay. Enhanced surveillance. 
All right, this is, oh, this started the silvers, sorry. Book Devourer. Guild Mages Forum. Ooh, Cosmic Wave. Or, what the hell just happened to me there? No, sorry, this is Cosmotronic Wave in a hollow. And then we got an Is It Guildgate, one of my favorites. And a White Soldier, all right, so. Jace, right on the front. Jace, please bless me. Here we go. This is the last pack of the day. Uh, I don't know how often I'm going to upload. I know I want to upload semi-often just because I love collecting cards. Nonetheless, just playing in general. So, yeah, as I said, uh, I want to do this somewhat regularly. I enjoy playing the game and I enjoy collecting. Act of Heroism. Diabolic Edit. Edicate, I think. Pyrehound, nice. Knight of the Skyward Eye. Pretty sure I got one of those. Yeah, anyway. Dragon Eyes Savants. Elvish Arbitration. I've said a black and the green, that's just not right. Arcane Denial. Oh, my shoulder hurts. Prophetic. Prophetic Prism. Dark Ritual. Ooh, Dark Ritual. I'm setting that off to the side, even though it's a common. I'm pretty sure it's pretty rare. Colossal Dreadmaw, again. A Mirror. Uh, Perlicious, I think. That started the Silvers, I believe. Uh, yep. Anyway, sorry. Undead Gladiator. Browbeat. Or Browbeat. Act of Negation. Ooh, ooh, hello. Counter target spell at the beginning of your upkeep, or your next upkeep. Pay three and two blue mana if you don't lose the game. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Oh, it's a zero cost. That's why. And a Frenzied Goblin. Then we got a Skeleton Token. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, please comment. Just say something. Say, you know what? Comment Niv Mizet Reborn if you made it all the way to the end. Uh, that was our rarest card, I think. I'm going to look up and put the uh, prices of the rare cards that I pulled out and some that I didn't in the video and uh, see how much I made. So, yeah, thanks for watching.